All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Ramble number eight. Today is May the 17th, 2022. Poll 76 has been deployed, or at least the update I care about, which is the Elite Clue Scroll update with the third age rates, you know, fitting them in proportionately between hard and uh, master clues, and then also uh, Elite Clue changes to Hallowed Sepulchre and adding them in there, along with some hard clues and medium clues and uh, easy clues. So, so those are all very, those are all changes I've been anticipating for, honestly, like, I've been probably anticipating Polo 76 uh, third age rates for a year, and then Hallowed Sepulchre, I was on board since I heard the first news about it, so, super hyped, I uh, will be doing some Hallowed Sepulchre, I'll get into that later, but before I uh, enter the Hallowed Sepulchre and talk about why I'm there, I'm going to uh, just quickly head over to the browser, and catch you guys up on some uh, updates that have happened in the last uh, since the last ramble. So, first thing first is we did get a trim uh, music cape achieved uh, somewhere around like a year after I got my max cape, surprisingly. But, but nonetheless, we got it. And so we needed this because we wanted to prepare for pull uh, seventy six. And and you know with those elite caskets came uh, master cask master clues. And so to do like some 40 or something master clues that I had uh, potentially, I needed a music kit for the phalo steps because I wasn't going to, I was going to try to, I was really trying to get 250, 15 master clues worth of elite caskets uh, opened in a day. I almost did that, but I, but uh, yeah. So uh, opening the elite caskets, we did get a heavy ma casket. Now, this is chronologically 200kc uh, posted on May 12th. I actually made another post later. You'll see some lower kcs with some juicy items. Uh, milking that for now, but yeah, we did, got a, we did get a heavy casket here. Uh, super dope item. So honestly, uh, yep, yeah, one of my first goals post-max was to finish all the clue and tradables. And now we have one, uh, two to go. So yeah, the Yuri Transform and the... What is it? what else was it? The Yuri Transform and the Master, the Big Sack, or whatever it's called. The Clue Sack. Uh, here's 700 collections logged. So this happened at 230 Elite Clues. And here comes the Juicy Mega Thread. So, starting from the top, in the 215 Elite Casket openings, I condensed it all down here for you guys. 47 Master Caskets, 10 or so Mimic KC. 34 new Elite Collection Log Slots, 9 Master Log Slots, so we're looking at 43 new collections logged in 215 Elite Caskets. Gotta love it. And then from those caskets, we, we got 2 new Gilded Items, uh, a Scimitar and two and uh, Gilded Van Braces, and then we got a Lava Dragon Mask, which is like 3rd Age Rarity. And then we hit the 3rd Age Table an additional 2 times. And we got two new light tuxedo jacket pieces. And if anyone who's not into elite clues doesn't know, this is around like 10 times. I think it's precisely 10 times as rare than your any other elite unique, these uh, tuxedo pieces. And there's around like eight of them to collect. So I'm super happy with all of this stuff. Um, there's a scimitar in that photo. Uh, you got the tuxedo jacket in this photo. And then the van braces, I thought I didn't get anything. So I didn't even screenshot it at the beginning, like with the clue opened. I thought I got like, uh, I thought these were like black van races, gold trimmed. And then because I was streaming in Discord, someone told me like, dude, you fucking dumbass. These are gilded van braces. Congrats. So super hyped with these. Like, honestly, just so blessed to be, uh, to have the good RNG for uh, clue scrolls. Th th there's nothing better than that. So, uh, light tuxedo piece. Again, this happened after I got two gilded items. I was just losing my mind. And then, um. Lava Dragon came in the next day uh, when we were finishing off the caskets. We had like 49 elite caskets to go. And we just fucking didn't even get a master clue yet, I think. And we just rolled right into this. So Lava Dragon mask there. And then, yeah, third age potions. And then third age potions. So that's all right. Um, and then, yeah, here's just the loot tracker screenshot. So, yeah, I made 74 mil from the elite clues. And I made... 90 or 50 mil from the master clues so yeah it's all it's honestly uh so awesome to see and uh i'll show you guys now in game i guess uh 
the collection log page, and then we'll do a Hallowed Sepulcher run. Uh, yeah, here are the elite clues. So we start off at zero for 59. So this is all new. A um, few ornament kits, tuxedo pieces, goddamn. So fortunate about that. We completed all the scarves, and we almost completed all the metal dragon masks. So we even have the lava dragon mask, if, but that's not a metallic dragon, I guess. Um, so yeah, super happy about this. And then master clues. Uh, I'll, I'll try to remember what's new. So nine new master clues items. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, um, six, seven, uh, eight, and then I want to say, no, no, I take away back, I take away Ar Arceus, so, uh, eight and nine. So, yeah. Nine new master clue items there. Oh, yeah, and then another collection log update on just the obsidian tab, which is like, I'm, I'm currently working on it. I'm taking a break. I'm going to Hallowed Sepulchre. But uh, I will, when I get bored of Hallowed Sepulchre, I'll, or not when I get bored. I never get bored. I'm, I'm staying here for the long run. But I will uh, juggle between this and the Hallowed Sepulchre for now until I decide more precisely on my next grind. But that's what I've been up to. So, yeah, I'm going to do a few Hallowed Sepulchre runs for today. Um, and some of you might not know this about my account, but I already have the Hallowed Sepulchre clue tab completed. And uh, I also have the Squirrel Pet. And uh, obviously with the Metamorphosis. So, I'm actually just here for two reasons, and that's money and clues. And it's kind of like a dilemma because... Because you, uh, I, I like skilling and I like collection log as well. And I find myself in a constant dilemma of like wanting to skill and like make the overall XP go up. I do have like a one bill overall XP goal that I've uh, set from like the first ramble. And not that I'm like too motivated about it or like disciplined about it. I, 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 my, my only feeling is like I want to be more disciplined about it and I wish I had like a skilling flow and I know that because when I was maxing there, there were some like skilling methods I really liked and I could do forever and uh, most of them came from agility um, because agility uh, I, I, I found love and solace in agility because it was one of the few skills I can like maintain close to the EHP rates and this was back in like the Brimhaven dungeon days and or and you know uh and also like a little bit of hallowed sepulcher before these like crazy rates came out and so you know other methods involved like tick manipulation and uh i wasn't too fond of like tick manipulation methods except for like three tick chins which is like no longer efficient so i yeah i just found comfort in agility you know no tick manipulation required for the most part there's obviously some like probably like you could probably like tick manipulate looting the chest i imagine or something like that but or like, you know, recognizing where your true tile is. But yeah, I found comfort in agility. And so I just kind of like, you know, when I maxed, yes, I set out collection log goals. But I also just set out like goals of, uh, you know, wanting to uh, just have overall uh, XP. So for most people, that's like uh, Redwoods or Amethyst. You know, most people are like, uh, my friend says it's like a, you're an Alkin type of player. Meaning, like, I guess you just do a lot of, like, Alkin always plays multiple accounts and he AFKs on one of them a lot. So, yeah, most people, I guess, when they're PVMing, they're probably, like, working on an alt account. And then they end up, you know, making, uh, <laughs> they end up, like, make, they end up just, like, mining Amethyst on their main, hunting for the pet. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to always go past the pet. I already have the agility pet. It kind of sucks that I got it so, uh, early. But I have three, actually. But, um. But yeah, I just, uh, I like agility, and so Hallowed Sepulchre is like the most beautiful piece of con- Not, on top of liking the skill, the, one of the methods, you know, Hallowed Sepulchre just gives you so much money per hour. Like, I think it's two mil an hour in the long term, and it just gives you XP, and then now it gives you clues. And so I'm just super stoked to do it, like, despite having the collection lock completed. It's occasionally a dilemma uh, with skilling. And uh, I've been able to like cure my itch with that dilemma for uh, oh yeah you guys uh, you guys can ignore these personal bests by the way uh, there has been like an update that reset these times 
So all my personal bests are from like recent attempts at uh, just uh, doing Sepulchre for clues. So not the fastest possible times here, by the way. But uh, yeah, just uh, I was saying earlier, it's like I've, I've been trying to like cure my itch for skilling by like just playing a second account, and um, you know, it just uh, like and that would be my free to play account, and I would do some like AFK free to play skilling. Um, but it's not the same as like your main account where all your prestige and your rewards are, you know, not getting a, a billion experience there. So, yeah, I, I've told myself, you know, uh, I'm a stubborn, I, I don't know, everyone plays RuneScape in a stubborn fashion. I think it's sometimes healthy to just enjoy the game and get out of like the efficient mindset of like, you know, I'm trying to say like, screw that I'm not getting collection log games right now. I'm just going to enjoy skilling because I enjoy it. And, uh, and I hope in that, and, and I hope to just also, like, be passive about this and acu help acu and accumulate some gold in the meantime. So, I guess, you know, I have a collection log purpose for doing clues here, or for doing this skilling method, and then I also just have a money purpose. So, right now, I'm just trying to work for uh, Garzi Rapier, even though, like, I have 100 mil cash and, like, the loot tab to sell to buy the Rapier. I want to, I want to just get, like... The remaining money in cash from Hallowed Sepulcher. And I want to do like, you know, I want to sell a Ring of Endurance that I get, any future Ring of Endurance, or I just want to like, uh, if I don't end up getting a ring, I just kind of want to like alk my way up to there. Uh, I'm going to miss this one up, eh? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to alk my way up to like 120 mil cash stack. I'm at like 100 mil right now, or just get the ring and uh, enjoy the, enjoy the, I guess you could say zero time clues I'm getting because like I need a GP method. I don't have a GP alt. So my GP isn't necessarily zero time. So I guess you could say I'm getting zero time clues. So yeah, I'm just trying to make myself feel better about skilling and not collection logging as much, but yeah. Speaking of skilling and logging, like I heard uh, one of the players, one of the like high level players like DK Ho or whatever, did some like calculations on uh how many elite clues you get from like uh, 200 mil uh, 200 mil sepulcher and I think it's somewhere like only 1300 which like worked out to be like an elite clue every 150,000 XP and so yeah this isn't the best method but um, it's definitely a good one I think I were I, I don't know if I said this earlier but I worked it out to be like the fourth best method like uh, between uh, if you're a main without any alts, it's the fourth best method. You have like Dolo, uh, you have Lava Dragons. I think it's better than Barrows, worse than Lava Dragons, worse than Seracnus, worse than Shades, and then they're like another method that I'm forgetting. And so, yeah, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of good. And if you do have skilling goals, it is the second best skilling method for clues. So, that's really good. Um, but yeah, it also just helps that like there's, uh, there's like, uh, what do you call it, um, hard clues that you can get along here, so, and of course the money, right, but, uh, yeah, Spe oh yeah, speaking of elite clues, there's so much to talk about, so, obviously I'm just so glad that I can open every casket now without, like, any, uh, you know, like, I, I can just open up elite caskets now, and I don't have to, like, hold on to them, and it just feels so good, and, like, the stress is relieved, and, you know, it's like you're free again, almost. It's like you can just enjoy leaving, you know, you can just enjoy the distraction and diversion to its full extent. So, um, so happy with the elite clues. I have been thinking about them. And, like, uh, on top of this, like, GP goal about getting the rapier, it aligns with, like, my need to, like, uh, get my combat tasks done. I wanted to do my all my combat tasks with my Slayer boss tasks. And so I need a Garzi rapier to just get through the you know, um, ordinary Slayer tasks, because I don't want to spend too much points, so I am going to be just, like, focusing on, uh, this is not going to work, there we go, nailed it, so yeah, I'm going to need a rapier for, uh, the ordinary Slayer tasks, so I was thinking of doing some CA tasks and just improving my global chance of Elite Clues and finally getting the Elite, elite Tasks, uh, diary done, because... Yeah, 5% makes a lot of difference, and if you're going to be doing clue, elite clues basically forever, like I am, um, sooner is better than la later, so. Um, on top of that, like that hilt that you get, like what is it, the Gomel hilt? Um, 
Gomal's hilt. That guy, that guy's hilt teleports you to like Trollheim, uh, the God Wars like, the God Wars side of like Trollheim, and that is so good for like a bunch of a, like probably like a dozen steps. Like it is the most utility item, clue item, teleport item like that we have, and so I need to get it because there's a lot of master steps and elite steps that take you into the troll country. So want to work on that, and so I'll be doing that. Um, this is the final step. We should focus up. Bad time to uh, try to end the ramble, but really, that's what we got to do here. Um, oh yeah, what do we? What else do we have to say? Kind of hard to check the list right now, but uh, we'll check. Good luck on the elite clue here at the end. Please get one, please. But yeah, oh yeah, speak, oh yeah, more more to talk about Elite Clues. So, one thing I also want to say is that, like, Hallowed Sepulchre Elite Clue rates need to get buffed. They had that first blog where they were talking about, like, wanting to, like, nerf them and, like, they're too overpowered. So they nerfed the rates to what they are now and they passed. But honestly, those were just, like, PVM or babies complaining, dude. An Elite Clue every hour and a half is, like, still ridiculous. And, like, I, I think, I think Hallowed Sepulchre should be an Elite Clue every 75 minutes. And that's assuming like seven and a half minute laps. And that doesn't happen. You know, that like everyone can achieve a seven and a half minute lap who has over like 200 KC here. So, so I think it's completely fair. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of like just time lost, you know, like banking and stuff. Like, I don't think the, the elite clue per hour calculations that Jagex makes account all the banking time and all that shit. So, yeah, I don't know. Not a fan of, uh, the current rates right now. Hope they get buffed. Hope they give me a reason to stay here longer. Um, anyways, here's the bird ca the bird egg count. So I don't know if I've shown this to people, but yeah, we're we're almost like Bay's sixties. Uh, I do plan on using this up, maybe like Bay's two hundreds or Bay's three hundreds. So definitely nowhere near completion. Bay's two hundreds is like at least six hundred uh chicken pieces or six hundred rolls. So not nowhere close to a, like a single piece, but do plan on holding them for a while. Still have to uh, loot the kingdom, like five mil coins value from the kingdom. So, um, yeah, there's the elite clue update there. Oh, and then I guess we can make it a like a tradition to show the collection log tab, because it always th these are just like all the untradeables. Well, I guess these things are tradable, but when the jars too. But yeah, here's just like a our my gnarly little collection log tab. With the heavy casket now, finally. Yeah, not much has changed here. Um, oh, and then here's the mega rare tab that I'm making. Look at that, four items deep. All in order, by the way. So good. All right, so I think I'll call it there, guys. Uh, lab. So let me know. I want to know uh, if anyone can write a comment. Let me know what your favorite like skilling method is for, you know, you know, why do you skill? Do you skill to relax and take, you know, make the time go by? Do you skill on another account while you grind something on your main account? Um, what is your favorite skilling flow? You know, do you like bird runs, tree runs? Do you like, you know, fletching between raids when your friends are like supposed to be meeting you up at the raids? Let me know what your favorite skilling kind of cycle or flow is, and I'll catch you guys next ramble. Peace out.